Also, if someone in the stream could let me know in the chat whether or not the mic audio is actually synced up to the game. For reference, the... They just picked a state. <laughs> well, hopefully it is. Anyways, this is Jaxus, and looks like game one is going to Battlefield. Kind of an unusual thing to see here, because with the three starter list, uh, everyone ends up going to Smashville most of the time. But I do believe that this could be a good stage for each character, and I do believe it's also one of Shy's, like, favorite stages. Ooh. Ness has been getting some decent damage in so far. However, Luigi, if he gets one grab or a good down B like that, can get the damage back really quick. Uh, this is going to definitely be the game of the semi-low mobility grab characters. Oh, uh, CPU almost caught Shy there with the, like, PK Thunder 2, I believe it's called. I don't actually know Ness all that well, or at least not name-wise. Oh, catches the roll with the back air, and then manages to just run up and grab him. Uh, see if you expected him to do something else, and Shai punished him for it quite successfully. Shai uh, opting not to run off and try and edge guard that. We don't really have any Nesses in our area, so I'm assuming he just doesn't really want to challenge something with that much strength without knowing exactly how it works. Back throw, definitely not at the percent where it'll kill yet, and especially not from center stage. However, it still does put him off stage in a, not really a gimp situation, but definitely a non-advantageous one. Alright, fireball is not safe, on, even on hit at point-blank range, as uh, CPU just showed us there. Ooh, back throw doesn't quite kill, even though we get the okay. But will Nair? Nair didn't, and then did after he side beat. All right. All right, uh, Shy unable to convert his grab into a kill at that point. However, he will get it with a down smash, and just like that, we're right back to even. Neither one of these characters really has the best approach option. They both have grab setups, though, for their just absolutely crazy damage. Uh, both also have pretty solid aerial combos. I really don't know who I'd give this matchup to, but I could definitely see it being very close. They're surprisingly similar in some ways to play. Oh, looks like I'm going to be joined here by Zeno, another one of our locals. Indeed. All right, so this is game one at the moment. Oh, and he gimps. Yeah, he got the jump with the tail of thunder there. Up until that point, that had been an extremely even game. This is tournament. Right, I'm going to unplug this, because that is really annoying to hold. What is this? Uh, it's plugged into the headphones, but we're not using headphones, so why is it plugged in? I uh, I guess, but we're not gonna do that. Um, oh, I just realized I have the names on the wrong side. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, CPU took game one there. Uh, yep. Uh, where do you expect to see this go? Well, I mean, like stage-wise, I'm hoping game three as well. But yeah, you're right. That is like that shy is like favorite state okay you're cheating there is some lag on uh, our display and then also to the stream that's part of why the audio is out of sync though not the only reason why yep uh, it's a pretty safe option at that range especially against a character with mobility like Ness's. definitely or at least not in this game uh, Oh yeah, and it also, uh, it's safe on shield at certain spacings, and if it's actually less safe on hit than it is on shield, which is something that very few people know, uh, or take advantage of. Because the general thought process is, here comes a hitbox, block it, Oh, Try going for a dash attack there? I'm going to assume that was a misinput. Uh, however, he is currently in the lead by about double the percent. Looks like he doesn't want to have a repeat of what happened last game. Ooh, read the back roll and just ran up and did Luigi's like super dash grab. 
Definitely. Um, especially to get those grabs and stuff. I really want to see what he can do once he starts incorporating, like, Shoryuken into his play, but unfortunately that's not really a thing yet. Ooh, uh, manages to get him in the PK Fire. I'm not sure that that's actually a thing on Luigi, because there's gaps in PK Fire that make it so that certain characters can counterattack, and I would not be surprised if Luigi could narrow out of him. However, this, uh, this game, Chai is looking like a very different Luigi. He has only 60% down, and he took, uh, CPU's first stock. Same. Uh, we're both, like, mostly players who stay fairly local to Salem. We don't really have travel money. However, he's certainly holding his own against uh, one of Salem's... Not not exactly best, but, like, he's definitely a high-level player for Salem. Oh, my words. That was much low-level scrubs. <laughs> Quote the Salem player. But, anyways, uh, looks like he has him... Yeah. We have... Er, I was going to say that uh, he had him off stage. But then he actually managed to turn that around and gain stage control. Uh, whoa. Alright, I was going to say that that didn't quite kill without rage. However, it actually did. I mean... I feel like Ness actually has a unique off-stage game in a sense of... Okay, he's doing thunder. I'm going to jump to the and that would kill the lick. Yeah, then you die. <laughs> yeah, you're... Yeah, your stage spike teching has to be absolutely on point against Ness. However, uh, most people, like... Most, I guess, not high-level players or people without Nesses in their region don't really know, but uh, if you get hit by Nesses PK Thunder 2, whether you tech it or not, it actually shortens the amount of distance that it goes. So if you just jump in front of it and take the hit, then it will shorten, and then as long as you tech the stage spike, uh, oftentimes he just won't make it to the ledge, depending on where he's starting from. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yep, the down smash read, that's how he took the stock. First game, first stock as well. Yeah. You guys are up? Oh, just by the way, I... Wait, you beat Cielo? Huh? You beat... No, okay, okay. <laughs> just by the way, I played my game against Lag and won to him. Alright, yeah. cool. Nice. Because everybody in San Jose is in Cielo as losers. I'm not in losers. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Anyways, uh... I'm assuming that we will not see another run back to Battlefield. There is no DSR though, so it is on... No, there's no Dave's Stupid Rule here. Yep, uh, I learned that, like, after we would banned stages in doubles. Uh, I don't actually know exactly where the bracket is. Hopefully the link is on the Facebook page. Anyways, looks like we're going to Town and City. Interesting counter pick. Uh, it gives us a lot more places to land if he's in, like, uh, double trap or ledge trap because part of his normal problem is you can't double jump cancel anymore so if you can like he's forced into a super high jump and then floating back down a lot of the time so you can actually punish that uh here though that super high jump lets him escape to the platforms a lot when they're there and when not uh he can like force approaches on the fd sort of section against at least someone like luigi and just kind of pester people with that uh pk thunder Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, Shy overcommitted a little bit to get the um, the down B kill, but didn't actually convert it. Uh, CPU did a good job of turning that around. Yeah, so I'm thinking that that Ness up B is a custom, like just because it looks weird. Oh, doesn't quite kill though. Yeah. Oh, is this one, does it, like, go through people if that happens? Okay. Oh. Uh, Shy actually had a kill on CPU there, but he forward smashed the wrong direction. Oh, but the down smash will not take it. Oh my gosh. Uh, CPU with his, <laughs> as we call it in Salem, Xeno DI after this guy here, never dies to anything. But he did manage to get, um... Yeah, but he did manage to get the uh, down smash kill. Both just kind of box trotting back and forth, not really wanting to commit to an approach. Um, he does. He gets some pretty good use out of it too. 
Oh, but right there, uh, as you saw, Shai didn't actually convert it or anything. However, uh, he had very few landing options because he'd already burned his double jump and he hadn't landed on the platform. Yeah, okay, so that just, like, blanks other projectiles, I'm assuming. Oh, uh, Chai had a good air dodge there. Uh, CPU almost got him with the next hit, but then Chai just managed to bear out of it. Um... I'm assuming? I honestly have no idea. Oh, uh, Shy, if he hadn't actually... Oh, that match was incredibly close. But, looks like with that, CPU advances to round two of losers. Congratulations to both players, because that was honestly a really good match.